What if one day you woke up? To find out that volcanoes are exploding, that the earth is shaking non-stop and hot lava from Earth's mantle is killing millions of people. A volcano is a mountain that opens downwards to a wall of molten rock below the surface of the earth. When there is enough pressure built up in it, eruption occurs. A volcano each time it erupts gets bigger and bigger. Volcano eruptions have been known to cause major destructions as hot gases and rocks shoot out through the opening. Eruptions can cause lateral blasts and lava flows. The hot ash that comes from the volcano can knock down entire forests. There are several ways a volcano can explode, some are more dangerous than others. When pressure is too much, an explosive eruption can happen, which can be dangerous and destructive. Another way is water underneath the surface interact with hot magma and create steam. That can cause rise in pressure and also cause an explosion. Lava flows are enormously destructive to property in their path. However, casualties are rare since flow usually is low enough for people and animals to escape, though this is depending on the viscosity of the lava. Nevertheless, injuries and deaths have been occurred, either because they had their escape route cut off, because they got too close to the flow, or more rarely, if the lava flows travels too quickly. The lava can cause a lot of damage, burning towns and farmlands, but the ash from the volcano can also be a problem as plums, volcanic ash can spread over large areas of the sky, turning day into complete darkness and reducing visibility, having many flights grounded. Ash can also cause breathing issues. Their enormous clouds are often accompanied by thunder and lightning. Volcanic lightning is a unique phenomenon and scientists continue to debate the way it works. So what will happen if all 1,500 and the underwater volcanoes we don't know the number of exploded at once? The most noticeable at first will be the explosion of supervolcanoes. Supervolcanoes do the exact same thing as normal ones but in later scale. We can think of Yellowstone Volcano for example which was also in the movie 2012. The estimated death toll if Yellowstone explode is 5 billion by the latest information I can find. There are 20 supervolcanoes volcanoes in the world that we know of. All the lava that will come from this will destroy large areas of land, but land will not be the only issue, as volcanoes that erupt underwater can make the water toxic, killing underwater life as it causes acidification and deoxygenation in the water. Now let's say you're a lucky person and you're way far away from all of this. Now what? Well, you still have a long way. All of this ash can reach the stratosphere, the upper layer in Earth's atmosphere. The volcanic ash can reflect incoming solar radiation and absorb outgoing land radiation, leading to cooling of the Earth's temperature. Researchers say that Yellowstone volcano eruption itself has caused 80 years of winter. That will get us in a lot of trouble since our food chains will get destroyed, trees will not be able to sprout and animals will starve. So if all the volcanoes erupt at once, it will be catastrophic. It will destroy a large part of the civilization if not all. It will make part of the water toxic, killing a lot of sea life in the process. After the explosion has finished, what awaits is a long and harsh winter that will last for a long, long time. Now, is it possible? There is no evidence that eruption at one volcano can trigger another volcano that is hundreds of kilometers away. So I don't think it is possible but having only one big volcano eruption as we saw before, can cause a lot of problem itself. Thank you all for watching, if you liked the video please subscribe and share to support me, comment down below what topic you would like to see next, thank you very much and see you again at the next one.